Oh, that we had to make oh another video. More so, meals? subscribe if you haven't already. Because of my size, everything about this life is hard to where I can't even function on my own like I need anymore. Kanae is so out of shape that she needs an oxygen machine just Yo. to make it through the night. And her day does not get any easier from here. These days, even standing is a painful thing. Yo, that seems horrible. Imagine you have to w sleep with the oxygen mask and then you have trouble sleeping and walking and just living your life. For me now, on the worst days, I can't get out of the bed. I don't make it to the bathroom. When oh I can get up, God. I have to have help. My goodness, Kane. She is talking about how hard it is for her to simply move, and you can tell from the footage that she's not overselling it. Something has to change. It looks so painful. Be before long, if this keeps up. That's what my mission and focus goes to right at that moment when I can go out into the den and start my day with my first meal. It takes a lot of willpower for Kane to do just about anything. And ironically enough, the same love of food that caused her to gain all this weight is what's giving her the motivation to get ready in the morning. Let's see what Kane considers a typical meal. So I use the last bit of energy in me to move to the couch and start eating. Huh, well now... First of all, last bit of energy? You just woke up. Second off, why are you eating like four corn dogs for breakfast? That's different. Corn dogs are not a healthy... Four corn dogs, four honey buns, and there's more food over here. So there's this is literally almost I think your daily calorie intake that for a normal human should take. This is like one is like 200 calories. So this is a thousand. This is like 800. You're eating a thousand eight hundred for your first meal. That is like t t majority of your calorie intake a day choice under any circumstance but it's especially bad when you're Jesus having Christ breakfast. dude and she's not just having one or two she's got four right there along with some cinnamon buns on the side so I constantly have a craving you put syrup on your corn dog first of all that is disgusting second off you're gonna ha you're gonna have diabetes very soon why are you putting syrup on your corn dog you know, it's this drive in me that I can't control. But I know it's taking over my life to the point of where I can- You put jams on your corn dog? Ew! It's not necessary. Stop. That's like an extra, like, 200 calories. Barely get around. And just because there wasn't enough calories in front of her, Kane decided to add some syrup to the corn dogs. Because, you know, why not? Even when I'm full, I don't want to stop. <laughs> Because I want that joy. Oh my that god! And I'm losing more of my abilities every single day. Corn dogs and cinnamon rolls weren't enough because she somehow got her hands on a sausage biscuit and decided to add jelly to it. And ladies and gents, I can't emphasize this enough. This is her breakfast. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. How could she live like this? I just tried to escape my pain and guilt the only way I knew how. Is this lunch or is this like part of her breakfast? Is this just a cut? How to to try and bring myself happiness the family has prepared a whole lot of chicken for dinner oh but my god I have a hunch that all this food isn't going to be evenly distributed among everyone at home and that got worse when i was 35 because i lost my mom on top of all of this so when i lost her it was a little yo this is making me want to throw up it is so much food that i feel full you're putting i don't know this is either ma uh, mashed potatoes or like gravy or some sauce on your chicken. You're eating so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, eight and probably more underneath that. Probably double, like sixteen. You're eating a KFC meal, dude. Lowest point I'd been in my life. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god, that was nachos. Oh my god. Oh my that god. Was a safe bet. I mean, just look oh how loaded that plate is. This is disgusting. So this is like another two thousand calories. And even today, it still hurts, and I'm not gonna get over her death. Of course, we're not just talking about chicken here, as she also seems to have a good portion of nacho chips with queso topped all over the whole plate. My life is so miserable now. Yo, I, I feel like I throwing up. My weight up. gets so out of control, and I know I am very close to becoming bedridden. As you can see from the footage, the physical act of getting out of bed leaves a man. Yo, at first I thought this was your butt crack. I, I don't know, but this build. Is not it, dude. If you want to change, please do walking, dude. Just, just do standing. Just stand. Stand and just like you go on your phone for like 30 minutes. That actually helps for someone like this size. And the winded. And it won't be very long. Oh my before god. She's literally incapable of performing this basic task. 
Right now, I live by myself in a one bedroom apartment. I'm barely able to even make it to the bathroom because walking is so difficult. Yeah, that was tough to watch. And it's hard to imagine how someone who lives on their own is able to gain Oh my god. If you've ever played Left 4 Dead, this little like uh uh the blob, the guy much that weight in the first place throws up at you. So all I want to do is find ways to forget about my life. Okay, thing tells me that whatever Samantha is ordering is much Yo, this woman seems to be better conditioned than the other one. You're gonna be like that other woman if you keep ordering takeouts. Stop ordering takeouts. How do you have this much money for second off? And go cook. Literally, go cook your own food and it's so much better for you. Much worse than your typical takeout. In order to make money, I chose to start fetish modeling for a website that catered to people who liked large women. Okay, that's certainly different. Normally, the patients on my 600 pound life just eat uncontrollably, but at least Samantha found a way to turn what she loves into a career. So I have a setup in my apartment where I can film myself eating. I just eat what I want and they pay for it as long as I film it. So that's how I make a living and keep going. I know I'm not the only one who's wondered how some of these patients on the show are able to afford all the food they eat, but at least Samantha can give an answer to that question. Still, there's gotta be a healthier way to earn a living. Long time no see everybody. People ask me all the time, when is going to be that cake video? You're using your stomach as a table. And it actually, if, if you don't, like, if you don't see this video and just based on this image, it kind of does look like a table. Yo. Well, it's right now. Thank you for requesting this. We've come to the saddest part of this situation, and it's the end of this cake. Yo, to the people who have fetishes of these are disgusting, dude. You are literally killing somebody. This is, that's horrible. Even if it is for work, it's still wild to see her go through all that cake like it's nothing. She might be turning a profit, but I know she's oh probably my God. eating the exact that same not weight, even if she wasn't getting paid. I look at miserable. The first thing I feel is pain from being overweight. Carrying around this much weight hurts more than anyone can ever imagine. Well, basically, like every other patient on the show, Dolly begins her day by waking up in agony. It makes sense as the human body is simply not designed to carry that much weight. I can't even get out of bed anymore. Oh my god. Help. I live with my mother, but my best friend Cheyenne helps me when she's here sometimes. And boy, do things not look good for Dolly. She can't even get out of bed on her own. And you know it won't be long before she's permanently stuck in that bed. And I love cooking for Cheyenne. Yo. She this hunchback is crazy. It looks like you're flexing your back muscles. And you know it won't be long before she's permanently stuck in that bed. And I love cooking for Cheyenne because Cheyenne loves my eggs and bacon. All right, Cheyenne, I'm going to go start breakfast. Food is more Jesus than just Christ. a pleasure. It's my reason for existing. Well, that might be why Dolly's size is an issue. Dolly and her friend Cheyenne are both on the larger side. But that is still no way to justify cooking 15 eggs for just two people. Don't be afraid with the cheese. No, never. Food has caused all of the things. You know, it'd be much healthier if you just didn't add the cheese and put like salt and pepper. That would like reduce the calories so much. I hate about my life. <sighs> and of Jesus course, Christ. Dolly does not shy away from adding a crazy amount of cheese. That is a lot. But trust me when I say it's just the beginning. My mom was a massage therapist and a hospice caregiver. Wait, Kay? was that an entire bowl filled to the brim of sausages? She did as good as she could. Ew. I was left alone a lot, and that's how it started, my relationship with food. Ew, that amount of sausage, the amount of fat and cholesterol, you're gonna die. Where's your mom now? It was just there. It sure was. I mean, just Jesus look at how many Christ. those two eat over the course of just one meal. I can't even begin to count the sausages on her plate. And of course, we've got some pretty thick slices of bread. And other kids are harsh and cruel. Being singled out as the fat girl is quite uncomfortable. And of course, you've got to down all this with what appears to be an entire pint of milk. I don't care what those commercials from the 90s say. You do not need this much milk. Now, this is all normal breakfast food, but the insane quantity but this seems to be healthier than literally other meals first woman was ordering was eating four corn dogs four honey buns with jam and syrup and then the second woman was um she was what did she do she did oh she ordered takeout from mcdonald's this is probably the healthiest one 
if you remove the egg and the sausage it will be much more healthier and no ketchup quantity is what earns it a spot on this list. and cut that milk by like two-thirds after that big meal dolly and cheyenne are off to the supermarket to reload on supplies we get told on a daily oh you're big chocolate chip macadamia nut oh this is my favorite yo yeah. one's bigger okay so far we're off to a pretty bad start i couldn't see what specific you notice there's how this salad right next to you if you you oh you know what they could do they could like every time they eat something eat like a bite of salad or like or just drink a shit ton of water water fills you up you don't have the urge to eat drink water with food drink water first Specifically, Dolly was looking for in that giant box, but it looked like pre-made dessert. And of course, you don't need me to tell you that chocolate macadamia nut cookies are not a healthy choice. Um, Jesus. Is that her mom? Oh my god, Dolly. Can I take an Italian cream one too? Oh, shit. I can't believe she had to have that. Okay, now we're getting a good look at her carriage, and we can see that just about everything in there is some form of cake. Dolly's mother tries to shame her out of it, but it's clear that nothing's gonna stop her from buying and eating all that junk. I wake up in the morning, Tom. Wait, 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 wait. Where did she get her money from? And the mother could have done more. Like, she could have forcefully taken it out. But where did she get her money from? The first thing I do before I even brush my teeth. Good morning, how you doing? I'm going to put in an order for breakfast this morning, please. Wow, most of the patients on my 600 pound life at least get out of bed before worrying about their first meal. But not James B. All right, can I get the two slices of Steakhouse Premium Pancake? Can I get two orders of that, please? Can I get the game day family feast? Uh, can I get the original French toast? And a slice of... Um... You're eating a, a Super Bowl meal for breakfast. You know people eat that once a year, right? During Super Bowl? You're eating that for breakfast. Probably on a daily. Whole Yo, you know if you just cut that Super Bowl, the family feast out? You would have cut down so many calories. Let me get a slice of ham. Two of them. Okay. And to absolutely nobody's surprise- What is this bill? I feel like every- like, every people- every person that's 600 pounds have a different bill. They either like, have like a cone-shaped build, or like a big, um, they have like all their fat concentrated in the upper body and their lower body seems like more normal. Why is all the built different? Surprise, James' order doesn't sound all that healthy. Quite frankly, he's ordered enough for a whole family, but I don't think he's gonna share this with anyone. I'm always Jesus ready Christ. To eat. I just feel like the food has to be eaten. Something in my head is telling me I have to eat the food. Well, that's no, you not don't. Good. James clearly has no control when ordering food, and now he's admitted that he has no control when the food is actually. Jesus in front of him. Christ! Food just takes away the pain. It takes away all the. What? what? I can't even count. There's a like shit ton of French toast, hash brown, ham, pancake, sausage, chicken. Oh, sausage is here. Jesus Yo, fuck, dude! It takes away all the issues. It just takes me to another place. Okay, so that might actually be more than just a meal for an entire family. I mean, just look at all that food. Those are massive Tupperwares. And each one of them is loaded to the brim with unhealthy, fatty oh options. Oh my god. It gives me everything I want. But there's nothing worse. He ate all that up. He ate all He ate all that up. And he stacked it. And with fucking apple juice. Holy fuck. I'm coming to an end of a meal, so... When breakfast is over, then I'm already thinking about lunch. I do get full, but it's temporary. Dude, your breakfast would be enough to feed me for weeks. And you're already <laughs> thinking about lunch. This guy has a serious problem. <laughs> Crazy. Need some help? Watch out, you gotta hold Another it from buster. the bottom. What we got today? We got some chicken. Yeah, I appreciate you guys, man. I'm surprised. They delivered him food. L, family, L, friends, whatever the fuck they are. You know what you can do? Take away his phone and just now he has to eat whatever the fuck you give him. If he doesn't eat it, he's gonna starve. Eventually, he will fucking eat it. Give him broccoli. Skip, uh, broccoli might give him a heart attack. Finally, James has a whole network of enablers that allow him to order a Jesus. third portion. Like Yo, right uh, look at these portions. Can you help me open them up, please? Sometimes I feel like the That's world a whole ass cow. has just pushed me away. And because of that, I resort to food. Okay, let's be fair for a second here. Not all of this food is for James. However, we can see that he has two plates, and he's clearly eating far more than his fair share. 
I'm loving the food. These ribs, oh God. But I know at the end of the day, I have a food out of it. Everything is pretending my weight. It's always pretending to my weight. And you can hear it all right there. James' life has become strictly above food. All in all, James has a serious eating problem. Jesus and Dr. Christ. Mel has his work cut out for him on this one. All right, you guys, I know that's a lot of crazy meals, but trust me when I say we barely scratched the surface of all there is to talk about. After all, we made a bunch of previous installments, so make sure ew, you check out ew, the channel ew, and see all ew, the disgusting ew. food. Okay, this is healthy. There is to see. Seriously, after watching that, you'll feel a lot. Oh my god, you can't clean your back. That's why you have to scrub your back. Oh my god. A lot better about your own eating habits. Thank you all so much. Oh my gosh, she's stretching her ass. So much for watching and subscribing to the channel. We love what Yo, we do. Yo, that's crazy. Here, this, these are do disgusting ass support. meals. Until next time, my name is. Literally, if you, they cut that in half, that's still like half their day's calorie intake. That's so bad. That's so bad. They need help ASAP.